today we are going to talk about cystoid macular edema. It is one of the very common ocular condition uh, that we manifest in ophthalmo op ophthalmology OPD time and again. And it is seen in young age as well as old age. And it is either a primary disease or it can be secondary to various other etiologies. So the basic mechanism that undergoing uh, which follows cystoid macular edema or which leads to cystoid macular edema is a vascular pathology. We will discuss this first. Retina is a blood, uh, blood retinal barrier. Uncha, just as we have outer blood retinal barrier and inner blood retinal barrier. Uncha. Outer blood retinal barrier uh, is contributed by the tight junction which is present in between the retinal pigment epithelium. And if there is breach in the outer blood retinal barrier, that will manifest with a disease called central uh, serous retinopathy. So in the previous video, I discussed about this. Uh, the next, uh, this video, we are going to talk about cystoid macular edema, where the actual pathology lies uh, due to breach in the inner blood retinal barrier. So whenever there is a breach in the inner blood retinal barrier, it will manifest with a disease called as cystoid macular edema. About now we should know that inner blood retinal barrier is a cancer. So let me make a diagram. Just my use a choroid boy. From this layer, it is neurosensor retina. So suppose this is our neurosensor retina. So these are our layers of the retina. We have different blood vessels or accounts. Now, your blood vessels are there. There is endothelium. So individual blood vessels are focused on each blood vessel. There is endothelium. Now, each blood vessel is in endothelium. There is a tight junction. And this tight junction is what contributes. It is contributing to formation of your inner blood retinal barrier. Ki currently you uh, endothelium ma bako uh, ko tight junction or breach by when it that will result into cystoid macular edema. Just match our due to breach in this endothelium, there is leakage of the fluid in between the layers of the retina. Uh, and especially it occurs at the central part of the retina at the macular area. And just currently multiple cystic uh, spaces are uh, uh, macular area. Uh, the fluid collection is occurring in the at the level of cystic spaces, just as I mean cystoid macular edema one one so your uh, blood retinal barriers like in a breakdown by the so inner blood retinal barrier why uh, it has been damaged why there is a breach in this inner blood retinal barrier one the you usually vascular pathologies go currently on any vascular pathologies within the uh, retina just say it can be secondary to inflammatory disorder it can be secondary to ischemic disorders it can be secondary to tumors right? various other disorders or let's say retina my back blood vessels are like uh, injured girls uh, inner blood retinal until let's say inner blood retinal barrier like time is also just currently cystoid macular edema also. so let us uh, study it in detail so cystoid macular edema also called as cme you when you say it is a condition where the, there are multiple cystic spaces which is filled with fluid, especially in the retina. Pathologically, it is the most common type of edema that we see in the retina. And uh, thankfully, it is a reversible uh, cause of edema. It usually occurs because of breach in the inner blood retinal barrier. This could break down by the And it's cause, as I've said, it is because of uh, vascular pathologies. Now, this match, I'm inflammation currently on a just the blood vessels or inflammation by. Uh, it can be secondary to uh, uveitis intermediate uveitis or posterior uveitis or match amle esto condition haru dekhna saksam arko it can be secondary to retinal dystrophy like retinitis pigmentosa jasma pani pachi gaera it can affect the blood vessels tyo uh, ani and the retinal structures haru tesko karan le huna saksa it can be secondary to vascular causes like diabetic retinopathy hypertensive retinopathy crvo brvo ani peripheral vitis retina also called as eels disease in your map pani amle dekhna saksam or kunai drug Drug le pani ke garna saksa hunda hari blood vessels haru ko permeability le alter garna saksa like this ma sabse important drug jun besine na hune drug bhaneko hamro prostaglandin ho a prostaglandin le chai ke garcha as we know that prostaglandin is one of your inflammatory mediators jale chai vascular permeability badhaucha so it contributes to the breach in the inner blood retinal barrier which contributes to our cystoid macular edema tyo bahek aru drug jastai epinephrine and dipivephrine yo drug haru le pani ke garaucha bhanda hari hamro chai drug into cystoid macular edema garaucha a maile ya prostaglandin and like especially uh, focus on one of the uh, most important complications of cataract surgery, post cataract surgery, ma, amre a very important complication is cystoid macular edema. So cystoid macular edema is a very important complication that is seen in patients with post cataract surgery. And this mechanism is very important to see in patients just as cataract surgery, they have to see the prostaglandin levels. And because it is believed that this prostaglandin has contributed to breach in the inner blood retinal barrier, which has eventually contributed to cystoid macular edema. So cystoid macular edema is an early as well as delayed complication of uh, post cataract surgery. So post ocular surgery is also an important cause of cystoid macular edema. And probably it is because of prostaglandin induced and it is called as irvin glass syndrome or pani bhaninchha elai arko chai penetrating keratoplasty jasto operation garda heri pani telle cystoid macular edema garna sakcha 
or could say after laser photo coagulation ko kare leni huna sakcha or it can even be secondary to the vitro macular traction so these are the causes behind the uh, cystic macularia so let's say yaad garna la hamle ki ta aakha ko vessels haru ma inflammation bhayera ki ta aakha ko cells haru dystrophy bhayera ki ta vessels haru ma long term uh, uh, degenerative process athwa long term uh, damage bhayera because of diabetic retinopathy hypertensive retinopathy bhayera parna sakcha ki ta iatrogenic iatrogenic ma it can be drug induced or it can be post ocular surgery or it can be post laser therapy नहीं और इट कैन बी ड्यू टू विक्ट्रो मैक्युलर ट्रैक्शन बन रहा नहीं हमले ये लाइक पढ़ना सकते हैं सो दिस आर द रिस्क फैक्टर कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू सिस्टर मैक्युलर एडिमा तो बाय एक अब यू मेंशन में इफ अ पर्सन इज प्रेजेंटिंग विथ सिस्टर मैक्युलर एडिमा बने पैसे उसको क्लिनिकल फीचर्स की होला था एज यू नो यो पर्सन में की भागो छ भन्दा अब लेटेस्ट कंसर्ट दिस आर रेटिना सो रेटिना को यो एरिया में जस्ट इन बिटवीन द लेयर्स ऑफ द रेटिना मल्टीपल सिस्टिक स्पेसेस हुन्छ व्हिच आर फिल्ड विथ फ्लुइड जिस कारण रेज अफ लाइट जो योकस होने थे इट इज कमिंग ओवर हियर जिस कारण के भैर भादा यह मानी में विजन में प्रब्लम आँच एंड दैट विल रिजल्ट इंटू डिमिनेशन अफ विजन और ब्लरिंग अफ द विजन सो दिस इज द चीफ कंप्लेन अफ द पेसेंट अलंग विथ दैट इसमें मैकुलर पैथोलॉजी भाग कारण द पर्सन विल अल्सो एक्सपीरियंस सम डिग्री अफ माइक्रोपिया मेटामोर्फोपिया और द पर्सन माइट एक्सपीरियंस सो देर इज डिमिनेशन अफ विजन अलंग विथ ब्लरिंग अफ विजन अलंग विथ डिस्टोर्सन अफ विजन सो दिज आर दर्टेन क्लिनिकल फिजर दैट इज सीन इन दिस पेसेंट्स अर्क सो एट पेसेंट आने भाषा सो ही ही कैन बी आइवर यंग एज और इवन ओल्ड एज इज कमिंग सर्ट रिस्क फैक्टर इज टेकिंग ड्रग्स लाइक प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन्स हाई प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन्स जो ड्रग ली रहने अथवा ही माइट अल्सो बी पोस्ट कैट्रैक्ट सर्जरी को पेसेंट होने सकता और ही माइट बी अ पेसेंट अफ रेटनाइट स्पेगमेंट होता ही माइट बी अ पेसेंट अफ डायबिटिक रेटनोपैथी अथवा ये पेसेंट हर में एक्सी नई भिजन कंप्रोमाइज भर आक सो देर इज एकदम सडेन भी भर मिले बट इट इज नट इवन ग्रेजुअल सो देर इज सडेन भनम न फर दिस केस सो सडेन पेनलेस लस अफ भिजन भाग लस अफ भिजन भाई ग्रा देर इज डिमिनेशन अफ भिजन भन सो तो भर पेसेंट आक एंड देन यू पर्फर्म फंडस एक्जामिनेशन सो अपन डुइंग सीटलाइन बायो माइक्रोस्कोपिक एक्जामिनेशन कर हमें के देखें भादा हमें रेटिना में थिकनिंग देखे सो इसमें के पोजिटिव फाइंडिंग होता भादा रेटिना में देर इज थिकनिंग्स अर्क के हो देर इज सेंट्रल डिप्रेशन अकरिंग एट द रेटिना एंड बिकज अफ दिस सेंट्रल डिप्रेशन ये हम जो रेटिना में जो फोबियल रिफ्लेक्स थे तो हराऊ As I said in the video of uh, the anatomy of the retina, where I have said that I'm ro. Ita thi na nasal side ma I'm ro optic disc onsa, and on the temporal side there is macula lutea. This ko center ma fovea centralis. This ko center ma foveola. This ko center ma ombo onsa. Ab yeh area ma I'm ro situated uh, fluid or accumulated boy bati. Ille yo normal foveal reflex lepani orai dinsa. So there is loss of normal foveal reflex. Along with that, because of the collection of fluid, there is thickening of the retina. So two positive finding ma I'm ro da retinal thickening porsa. Or ko there is uh, say I'm ro ki onsa. There is central depression ko loss. and there is absence of foveal reflex jalai hami dull appearing foveal reflex man bhancha ar kura chai there is loss of foveal contour so yo sab finding huncha tyo bahek euta additional finding chai ke ho bhanda heri as i've said esma retina ma in within the layers of the retina multiple cystic space cha jasko bhitra fluid cha ani tyo herda heri kasto dekhinchha bhanda heri typical honeycomb appearance huncha jasto dekhinchha in the macula so this is a very important finding right so patient aayo gradual progressive डिमिनेशन अफ भिजन भर डिस्टोर्सन अफ इमेज विथ ब्लरिंग अफ इमेज लेकर आते थे हमें हे फोबियल कंट्रोल लस पाक फोबियल रिफ्लेक्स इज लस्ट रेटिना में थिकनिंग देखी रहता है रेसपेशली वेरी इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट इज हनी कम एपियरेंस अफ द मैकुला देखे वाले प्रोबाबली वी सुड सेंड द पेसेंट फर फर्द इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन द लाइन अफ सिस्टर मैकुला एडी में सो इन्वेस्टिगेशन कर सबसे फर्स्ट में हमें करने इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज फंडस फ्लोरिस एंड एंजियोग्राफी जिसमें हमें के देखो भादा यह मानी में एट देर इज लिकेज अफ द फ्लूड इन अ रेडियल मैनर सो देर इज लिकेज अफ द सीरस फ्लूड और वाटर लिकिंग इन द रेडियल मैनर जो हेद्दे कस्ट देखिज भादा फ्लावर पेटल एपियरेंस जो देखि तेल हम फ्लावर पेटल पैटर्न भाषा यूजली अब जैसे लिकेज हम जैसे मैकुलर एरिया में अलवेज इट अकर्स इन द रेडियल पैटर्न के इट इज बिकज अफ द हेनलेज लेयर सो नर्मली एज अ सेट फोविया को एरिया में हम सब लेयर्स प्रेजेंट छाइन तो हम के द रिमेनिंग लेयर्स अफ द रेटिना इज बिंग स्प्लेड आउट मतलब छर के इन अ स्टार लाइक अ फैसन तेकारण कुछ लिकेज भाई मैकुलर एरिया देन इट विल अलवेज अकर इन अ स्टार लाइक अ पैटर्न सो ते हम फ्लावर पेटर्न फ्लावर फ्लावर पेटल पैटर्न भाषा क्या बुझे है अर्क द नेक्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन दैट वीडियो इज अप्टिकल कोरेंस टोमोग्राफी जिसमें हमें एट स्पेसिफिक फाइंडिंग भेट अन डुइंग अप्टिकल कोरेंस टोमोग्राफी हमें यहाँ देखी रहा यो डाइग्राम में वी कैन सी देर इज इन बिट्विन द लेयर्स अफ द रेटिना हाई देर हमें लेट मी चेंज द डाइ कलर चेंज कर सो इसमें हमें के देख रहा है इन बिट्विन अब यह हम रेटनल पिगमेंट इपिथेलियम भो देर इज डिटाचमेंट अफ द रेटिना फ्र फ्रम द रेटनल पिगमेंट इपिथेलियम तो हमें देखी नहीं रहा तो बैक इन बिट्विन द लेयर्स अफ द रेटिना सो दिज आर आवर लेयर्स अफ द रेटिना जिस बीच में हमें मल्टिपल सिस्टिक स्पेस देखी रहा जिसको फ्लूड सो दिस इज अ क्यारेक्टरिस्टिक फाइंडिंग दैट
along with that there is loss of phobia depression normally ya phobia ko depression hunu parne thyo tyo pani hamle ya dekhirako chaina so this is a characteristic finding ab now we should go by the treatment ab treatment ma ke garne ta bhanda heri we know that cystoid macular edema is not a primary disease by itself it is usually secondary to many other etiologies just the inflammation like posterior uveitis intermediate uveitis ko karanle huna sakcha diabetic retinopathy haru karanle huna sakcha it can be due to several etiologies that i have mentioned so hamro first aim is to treat the etiology so ke karanle bhako ho ta so telai hamle treat garnu parcha arko kura chai hamle ke garnu parcha bhanda heri hamle topical nsaids haru pani dinu parcha nsaids le ke garcha ni prostaglandin synthesis la inhibit garcha so it is anti prostaglandin mechanism ko role huncha yesma so tele pani help garcha arko drug is oral acetazolamide especially it is important in patients with retinitis pigmentosa developing cystoid macular edema so you mai retinitis pigmentosa ko video ma pani bhane the we have to give astrazolamide so this is the treatment line and uh, the main aim of treatment is to also as much as certain patients are also given steroids our steroid le pani ke huncha edema lai reverse garcha because it will counteract the leakage of the blood vessels so tela pani tela counteract garna ma help garcha and also it will inhibite the release of the prostaglandin so uh, patients are also given steroids as well as well right so this is how we go by the treatment of cystoid macular edema so just to summarize it is a very short video so cystoid macular edema is it occurs because of breach in the outer uh, sorry due to breach in the inner blood retinal barrier so in this condition we see uh, in the retina there are cystic spaces which are filled with fluid pathologically it is the most common type of edema which occurs in the retina and thankfully it is reversible it usually occurs secondary to various etiology uh, affecting the blood vessels uh, leading to breach in the blood retinal barrier especially the inner blood retinal barrier which affects the inner uh, which affects the endothelium lined blood vessels uh, so it can be secondary to etiologies like inflammatory cause uh, the causes of inflammation can be posterior uveitis or intermediate uveitis it can be secondary to retinal dystrophies like retinitis pigmentosa it can be secondary to vascular causes like diabetic retinopathy hypertensive retinopathy crvo brvo and periphlebitis retina it can be drug induced and one of the very important drug is prostaglandin along with that it can be secondary to epinephrine and tpepinephrine iatrogenically it can also be secondary to post ocular surgeries like cataract surgery and penetrating keratoplasty it can be secondary to uh, laser photocoagulative th- therapy it can be secondary to vitreo macular traction so the clinical features as the as the macular area is being affected so the person will present with diminution of vision there is gradual and uh, progressive diminution of vision and which is which might be sudden sometimes as well so um, the diminution in vision can be in the form of blurring and in the form of distortion of vision on examination on fundoscopy examination we will find that there is thickening in the retina we will find that the central depression is lost and there is loss of the foveal reflex and the foveal contour is also lost and there is a characteristic finding of honeycomb appearance at the macular area so we further investigate in the line of cystoid macular edema so we do fundus fluorescent angiography where we find flower petal appearance uh, and we also perform optical coherence tomography where we can see multiple cystoid species which is present within the layers of the retina along with detachment of the retina from the retinal pigment epithelium so for the treatment we will treat the causative factor as it is secondary to various etiology so we will go by the treatment by treating the causative factor we can also counteract the effect of prostaglandin by giving anti prostaglandins like nsaids we can also give oral astrazolamide especially it is helpful in patients who are having retinitis pigmentosa and uh, oral prednisolone is also uh, seems to be beneficial in this patient thank you very much mm-hmm.